Welcome again to an episode of Charge Cars. We'll be installing a aluminium sport pedal set to this E46 320 six cylinder wagon. And I tried it, so this is version two. I tried it with my car, and I have a slight minor improvements that will make it way easier and will make the parts work right. So, for example, there will be no issue with the gas pedal travel or anything like that. So let's get right into the video. We'll be installing <coughs> a aluminium sports pedal set on this E49, E46, damn it, uh, BMW 3 Series. This is a later model, as you can see by the pedal. It is an electric gas, but this can be done also on a uh, in a cable gas, so a older motor BMW, and you will need a. I highly recommend a power. Uh, you will need a power tool for this one, and a three mil metal drill bit. And then I recommend, if you have the possibility, to purchase this kind of a multi-head set and a screwdriver that you can insert the heads into because this c works on a power tool and handheld you will need the handheld a bit on this one and then the seat set is here gas pedal clutch brake and footrest and this is awesome because like this if you have the footrest broken you can put this on. This is really cheap knockoff set from China. And with the cheap knockoff set, the hardware is not that good. So I went to the hardware store to get some hardware. The only hardware that is good is the, the big screws here, these big Phillips head screws to put the footrest on place and the nuts for the, the bolts here. These small nuts, they are good. So I ran to the hardware store and bought some uh, 3 by 12 mil Torx screws. These are really short. These are to be used for attaching the, the gas pedal because the, the normal hardware, these super long, small M3 bolts will protrude too much and <coughs> it will interfere with the ability to press the gas pedal fully. And then I actually went to the hardware store and bought a load of M3, uh, M3 bolts, M3 by 12 mil, so 1.2 centimeters. They're like this, a Phillips head. Will you zoom now, please? Like that. So this will fit perfectly. So this will fit nicely like that. They will fit much nicer than the funky hardware that came with the set. Like, like this. This is the original hardware that came with the set. And this is the new hardware I picked up from the hardware store. This fits way better than this. And I'm more confident that this will work with the set. And if, as you can see, this protrudes way less than the hardware that came with it. So now let's get to work. Oh yeah, and one more thing. This is a hardware, uh, it's a kind of a, a one piece, a one tool that came with the, with the kit. This is actually very useful, but you will need to modify it a bit. I'll show you. Uh, this is how it looks originally. And this won't fit on the back side of the pedals, no way. It's way too big. So we will need to modify it like this. So it only has the nut retainer, so you can uh, screw the nuts and bolts together nicely. Now, roll the carpet back a bit, like that, and then 
mock up, mock these up in place. Second, and you'll need to like that. And actually, we'll start with the easiest. So the easiest is the foot well rest. We'll need a Phillips two head like this. Put it here, attach it on the power tool. Like that. And then as we have the broken footrest, We'll need to position this as so that we want to cover the breakage and like that. Wait a second, we'll need to clean the, the piece up before we install it. All right, so we'll clean the footrest, gas pedal bit. Like that. Like that, they look like they look like new. So we'll cover them right back, and you can see now the brake way better. So we'll put it in place, and then position this over it so it will cover it completely, like that. And then you will need the power tool. The screw that came with the kit there. Okay, so then I recommend putting this the way you want it and then Tape it like that so it is held in place a bit better. And now for the, I bought a T10 uh, Torx head screw, a really um, short one to use with a gas pedal because the hardware that provided will protrude too much. Now it's good in place and works perfectly. So now you will need to change the power tool for a drill bit. Put them side by side, which is the other one is slightly taller. So that one goes to the brake. This one, take the plastic out. And that one goes to the clutch. Like that. And then the OE rubber, just pull it out from the side. It should come off like that. It's just a rubber piece. This is plastic. The only one that is metal is the brake. And this has actually a pretty ingenious design. So it has a kind of guard place so that you, when you go from the gas to the pedal, it protects you. But I really didn't need it that much, so I'm not worried about upgrading the pedals. So, again, you might want to tape the pedal in. So, put it where you want it. Like that. And then so 
put it where you want it, then tape it, then you'll need to drill. <coughs> and now the bottom ones. You might want to <coughs> take it easier here because it it uh, the drill bit is placed right on underneath a groove, so that might be a bit difficult to the you can you might break the head of the drill bit. So just be careful. Let's take the tape off. All right, like that. You can break it. Clean the holes. And be careful not to break the drill bit like I just did, but I have a few replacement ones, so it's not that big of a deal. Now for the clutch. Place it where you want it. And tape it. And then drill it. Now we won't need the power tool, power tool anymore. And now uh, we'll take the custom hardware from the hardware store. So it's a double Phillips or whatever this this kind of Phillips with a smaller Phillips inside of it. P -A -P -Z one is the co code. So we'll take this and then put it here. They sit on the other side. This one. Hmm. And then washer and nut. And this is the most annoying part of this uh, install. This this uh, kind of because these are really small and won't go in that easy. This is really annoying. You have to have good nerves because you don't see no. on the back side now that that's in place. And I put all the pieces like slightly in place. So this one And now that you have hand tightened this, you will need to use this. So put it on the back side and then you can really tighten these.
now they're good in, in place. This is the end result. Looks really sharp, sporty, and hides the crack and sound of the broken plastic piece. It turned out nice. If you like content like this, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.